Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to go below and click the subscribe button. Today has been long. Um, I'm working from home today, or I guess I worked from home today and then I'm working from home tomorrow. Um, because today I had to take Sasha to a vet appointment. Homegirl has asthma. Uh, hmm. So it's recently, she's always just like sneezed like once every now and then. Lately it's gotten a little bit worse and so Sam and I were like, okay, well, we've had to change their food because um, like we just weren't happy with their food that they currently had and we wanted them to have something that was a little bit, hold on, I'm changing the lighting settings. Um, we wanted them to have something that was a little bit healthier and then we tried changing the cat litter and Salem hated us for that. So it just like, we tried to kind of fix the issues and they never went away. So I took her to the vet and they were like, oh, she has asthma. Very confidently, the lady was like, she has asthma. So I got to see her little x-ray and then they showed me like what an x-ray of like what a cat with asthma looks like and it's identical. I feel so bad. But she is on, hold on. So it's basically like prednisone for cats. It's called prednisolone, I think. And she's on it for like nine days. Giving that cat a pill. It's like trying to get my husband to wear a dress. It's impossible. That was a bad analogy. It was a horrible analogy actually. But it's just, I've, it's just hard. And I've tried every tip, done everything, scruffed her, used a pill pusher, tried putting it in a tree. It does not work. She hates it. And I have to give her two pills a day every day for the next three days, and then one pill a day every day for the next like six after that, so. Yay, <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, and then tomorrow I have to go to my orthodontist, which is why I'm working from home because the appointment is in the middle of the day, and I'm like really nervous. I'm just as nervous as I was last time because this time I'm asking him two very specific things. They did something last time that pushed one of my teeth up a little bit, and I did not tell my mom about it. And today I showed her my teeth and she goes, that middle one needs to come down a little bit. It's never been like that before. <laughs> so it's noticeable. Um, so I'm gonna ask him like, hey, what the heck did you guys do? Cause you like moved this tooth way up and it doesn't need to. And then also, hey, can we take my braces off in August? I would love that. But I guess we'll see. Um, I don't know. I have a video going up tonight. So I'm just like all over the place and tired and storming outside and I still have to film Thursday's video so I am just like you know a mess <laughs> let me see if I can find my little sashy girl look I'll show you guys my outfit this is what I wear when I work from home I guess this is how I'm dressed today so I have on my dress it's just that Amazon dress that I featured in Tuesday's video on my main channel <laughs> my bedroom slippers but I always like do my hair and makeup and stuff when I work from home and then here's my little sashi girl she doesn't like storms so this is where she comes and sits when it storms yeah oh this sweet little kitty yawn oh my goodness sashi girl she's so pretty you're such a pretty girl. Oh, okay, bye. Never mind. I'll see you later. Oh. Okay. My children. They run my vlog. Okay, guess I'm just irrelevant today. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So I'm about to run to um, Dollar General. I have to get uh, either a gift bag or like wrapping paper for my mom's birthday present. Um, her birthday is August 3rd. And I just wanna make sure I get that because I'm like the worst at 
wrapping and or not having wrapping stuff and I'll just like go to my mom and I'll be like, can you wrap this? Or do you have wrapping paper? But for it's, it's for her birthday, so I'm not gonna do that this time. Um, and I also have to pick up something for dinner. Now I did, I don't know if in the last clip I filmed, if I had nails. I've been getting a lot of questions about the Sparkle and Co. dip powder and if I like it. Um, I really do. I actually like it probably a little bit more than the Amazon dip powder. Let me take these off so you guys can see. The camera's kind of being weird. Um, it, I like them both equally. I don't think that there is like one that is better than the other. I just think that the Sparkle & Co. is a lot faster, but the only thing is that stuff tears my nails up. I ordered something today. It's called, hold on. Uh, where was it? Vanny po Vanish Polish. Um, it like is supposed to help like it basically disintegrates your polish and I'll be interested to see if that helps you can use it with gel and powder but the sparkle and co is a lot faster and so I guess I could actually start driving um, it's a lot faster to do your nails but the other day I wasn't paying attention and I was just trying to do my nails quick because I knew that the sparkle and co you know it, it did it fast um, hold on one second all right I'm off my road now so the sparkle and co I was doing it so fast and you know how if you get nail polish like on your cuticle I guess um, it can kind of like when it grows out, the nail polish looks a little bit weird. So I got some of the polish on my cuticle and it was starting, the polish was starting to grow out, rightfully so. And it was like lifted, if that makes sense. Like the nail polish was lifted. So every time I would like run my fingers through my hair, it was getting caught and like pulling on the polish. So I just had to take it off today because it hurt so bad. It was like, was um, like just pulling. And so I just was like, okay, we, we've got to, I gotta do something different. So I took it off and um, I'm giving my nails a little bit breather, but that's why they look so diagram stubby and stupid. Um, but, all right, I like to jam in my car, so I, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I am on my way to the orthodontist, or I'm about to be on my way. I'm really nervous. Um, hold on, let me pause that. I am going to basically ask if he can take my braces off in August, and I guess we'll just see what he says. Um, there's like one tooth that I really need to have fixed, so uh, I guess we'll see what they say. I don't know. I don't know why I get so nervous every time I'm going to the orthodontist. Like, he's the nicest guy. They have the nicest people. I'm just like, I want my braces off. I want them off. <laughs> ah! Hello? Hello. <sighs> so, it sounds like I'm going to have my braces for Caleb's wedding. Are you going to like the result? So, there's a new lady there. A new orthodontist, I'm assuming. Um, I had, is it, is that her name? Yeah, she just came back from maternity. Yes, yeah, so she was explaining it to me. Basically, the braces have done good, but they turned one tooth on my right side, I think, is what she was pointing at. Um, it turned it too much. So, in order to not mess up my bite, They've got to turn it back. But, but, next time I go, hopefully, I'm getting my last wire. But then I'll have to wear that wire for six weeks. So, no, it'll probably come off like a week or two after his wedding at my luck. But yeah, I'm just like, I'm frustrated. But I mean, it's okay. I'd rather have straight teeth. Uh, yeah, I see what pretty... tooth she's talking about. I guess it's okay. I'd rather have straight teeth than jacked up teeth without braces. So, 
Yeah. Well, and I don't know how much she paid, but she said um, she really, really, really liked her orthodontist, but I'd never heard of them. <sighs> I was really hoping they would let me take them off in August. Oh, well. I guess That's I okay. got another two months with these bad boys. Alright, I'm gonna head home, finish up my work day. Just wanted to update you. I love you. I'm glad you did. I love you too. I'm trying to read it and I don't multitask. <laughs> I love you too, baby. Be careful. Alright, bye. Bye. Well, y'all just heard that, so it looks like I've got these till October, basically. Oh my God, this has just been the vlog of like in the car. So I'm gonna go down to my mom's. Oh my God, the last few days I've been having really bad heartburn and I never have heartburn. I just got up from a nap. I like, hold, hold on. I've been having heartburn and I never get heartburn ever, 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 ever. And all of a sudden at like three o'clock, I got this really, really, really sharp shooting pain in my stomach and it didn't like stop no matter if I rolled over, if I went, like if I laid on my stomach, if I sat up, it didn't stop and it won't stop. And so I'm um, gonna go down to my mom's and get some Tums, but we're both like pretty annoyed because I don't know if I told you guys, so in 2016, I've, I had an emergency surgery to remove a seven centimeter ovarian cyst. Seven months later, I had an emergency surgery to remove my appendix. And I swear on everything in the world if this is gallstones. Your girl's gonna snap. Look at my hair. This is so pretty. But like I am in holy pain like and it won't stop okay oh my god oh 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 stomach oh my gosh it is now 7 30 just so you guys know it's been a four and a half hour and i did take pepto already and it did not do a dang thing Hey guys, so I'm going to finish this vlog out here. I know that last time we talked, I think I was in the car going down to my mom's. So last night I ended up in the hospital. Um, hmm, it was such a long night. Basically, what they determined was it is they're gonna treat it right now as a stomach ulcer. And then in a few days, if I'm not feeling better, we're going to revisit the idea that it could potentially be um, gallbladder stones or like a gallbladder infection or pancreatitis which is also what they said um, which can be caused by gallstones and all that stuff so I'm really just hoping that it is a stomach ulcer I'm on medicine so I feel so much better but I'm exhausted because I only got like four hours of sleep and then I can't have any caffeine I'm on a strict diet um, so yeah it's just really frustrating but i guess that's a part of i guess that's a part of life um thank you guys so much for all the sweet dms i know that i kind of already updated you guys there today um it just i'm so frustrated like i can't work today because i'm i do not feel good enough to work and i just don't know like if this is a stomach ulcer, how do you know when that goes away? Or if it's not, then like, great, I'm going to be back in the hospital in a few days. I'm just pretty frustrated, but I'm going to take it easy for today. Um, thank you guys so much for all your love. Thanks for watching, and I guess I will see you guys next time.